it's a beautiful place. One of the only places in the Keys where it feels like wilderness. It can be a little extreme out there, really windy, choppy waters, and it feels like it's 100 degrees every day. Sometimes I will go months without seeing a single Miami blue butterfly. I will do survey after survey after survey and not see a single one. What I say to people is that the Miami blue butterfly is among the rarest insects in the United States and probably amongst some of the more endangered insects in the world. I'm just trying to figure out how many there are and where they are at different times. My name is Sarah Steele Cabrera. I'm a research technician at the Florida Museum of Natural History at the University of Florida. Restoring populations is such a complex process. You have to ask yourself, why, why is this species endangered? blue butterfly is a, a federally endangered butterfly found only on a couple of islands in Key West National Wildlife Refuge and Great White Heron National Wildlife Refuge. It was historically found throughout coastal South Florida but then experienced a really dramatic population crash in the 1990s and the scientific community actually thought that the Miami blue was extinct for a few years until it was rediscovered and now we're at just a couple of small islands. We hope to learn more about this butterfly and what it needs in the wild in order to make it. In November 2016, we started a captive colony of the Miami Blue Butterfly that is based at the Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville. This serves both as an assurance population and this is what allows us to do releases at our sites. hundreds or thousands of tiny cups filled with caterpillars and pupae. It's an incredible amount of work. The amount of time and care that goes into rearing all of these butterflies. The success of that captive colony is what allows us to do any of these releases and continue to restore populations of this butterfly. The Miami Blue is only found on a handful of islands that are all pretty close together. So one of the big risks when you have a small population in only a few places that if something happens to that place, this butterfly could be gone. Hopefully we can reestablish this butterfly at multiple sites in South Florida to increase its resiliency to hurricanes and sea level rise hoping to demonstrate some successes in the Keys and then take this butterfly back to the mainland in the long term. We released 600 pupae today and I imagine we'll have a pretty high success rate. There's more to it. We don't have an end, but we have a to be continued. Help us learn about these butterflies so that we can be successful in restoring populations throughout South Florida. I, I try to stay pretty hopeful. They're resilient little butterflies. <laughs>